Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CIDC 2019. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. That's everybody. right. You know, he has a format that we've got to stick by. Got a way to go. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, anyway, the theme of this conference is connecting, right? That's what you came up with. Connecting. Connecting. So, you think we're all about connecting technologies, and that's what we're going to talk about and among each other and in the sessions, but no. It's about connecting with people. That's why John and I formed this Clarion Live thing. And it's great that every other year we get to do this live live. Live live. live. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we're going to... By the way, this is Arnold Young. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> and I'm John Hickey. It's so funny because somebody says, oh, that's you. I just heard your voice before. <laughs> that's right. This is John. We always go, John? John. No, I'm not John. You're John. I'm John. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll go through some administrative stuff and then we'll move on, right? Right. Okay. okay. So the most import important thing is Wi-Fi, right? So this, this is, if you haven't connected up, you can do it this way. If it doesn't work, just go to the, lo grab the lobby, whatever, and it still works. Um, sometimes you have to clear your cache, change to another uh, browser, and then it'll work. Okay. Badges. You guys have badges, right? John spent time putting the white lettering on there, so make sure that shows because we spent money on that. <clears throat> Scott, turn yours around. It's just showing red. Your, your lanyard, okay? The badges also show the names on both sides. John spent the time making two sides, so don't put your tickets in front. Leave them in the middle. High tech, okay? Um, yeah, the food tickets are in the middle. Don't lose them. Okay? And it's for breakfast, which we'll talk about next. Uh, give me a plus. Okay. So you guys have already, some of you have eaten breakfast. Know that we have breakfast with the tickets and we have lunch. Okay? That's included. So don't go somewhere else because lunch and breakfast is across the hall. So go over there and eat it up because we paid for it. You paid for it, okay? Um, let's see. Breaks, we're going to have the mid-morning break, uh, break and the mid-afternoon break. Those are important because I'll talk about prizes later. But um, the breaks uh, are right out here in the solutions room. And in the solutions room, you can see all the guys, the third-party guys, but those tables in the middle, that's for all of you guys to just kind of meet up. So whatever you want to talk about, doesn't have to be about Clarion, can be about your wife or something. Okay. <laughs> or girlfriend, whatever. Boyfriend, girlfriend, sorry. Okay, let's see. And you can power up out there too. So dinner, it's not provided, but you know, you're meeting new people or you have old friends. That Disney Spring, John, talk about it. Pretty cool. A lot of places. Oh, talk about the magical dining. The magical dining? Okay, yeah. so some rest, I guess you have to do a Google search for it. Or I, we might have something on the CIDC website, but I, several restaurants are doing a special where it's uh, $35 and you get more than you normally get for $35. Yeah, appetizer, entree, right. and dessert. You right. get to pick from a, a right. list. Right. We went to a place that, that walks around and gives you all sorts of meats and stuff like that. It was 35, typically it was like 45, so you save some money. So you can check into that, if, and I think there's, you, you kind of have to travel to it, but we took a lift, it cost six bucks. And Don't lift, walk. Right. Just so go down there, walk. if you, if you get walk. tired of Disney Springs and you want to go somewhere else, you can go somewhere else. It's also Orlando Taco Week. It's Taco oh, Week as Taco well. Week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Arbor's letting us know as a local what the deals are, right? Okay. Right. Close it. Restrooms, if you head toward the restaurant that way, on the left side, man, wim, man, women, okay? So that's where it is, past the elevators. First day I was looking for it. I didn't have to go all the way up to my room. It's right there. Okay. Um, questions. This is a catch box. See that? Capes off. Clarion Live. Is that pretty or what? <laughs> Noyantis. Noyantis. Soft velocity. So this is how this works. Who can catch? Okay. So what you do, 
is be nice. You don't have to like throw it across the room. It can go in hops, okay? So that's the rule. When you catch it, put your gloves on because this is white. No, only kidding. But anyway, you, you, you throw it and you, you shouldn't get hurt. This is pretty light, I'll throw it. Maybe we'll throw it around a little bit. Yeah, okay. And there's a holder under here. So talk into this thing. And it should be, why don't you say your name? Whoever catches it, throw it one time, throw it around, throw it around, come back to me. Mike, Mike, <coughs> Mike, Mike Tavern. Tavern. I'm, I'm Scott Eaton. Paul Turn around, guys, in the first row. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> You got the idea, right? Okay. So whenever you have a question, please talk into this because we're recording. And if you don't talk into it, we remember that's all we hear. Um, so any questions on that? Yeah, that was a trick question it because was. I would have to. You throw wanted it to at throw him. the mic again? I know. Yeah. Okay. Next schedule. Yep. Um, there's an app and there's a website. Go there. And also, John, yes. can you talk about the slideshow at the front? There's a slideshow at the front. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Anyway, you can go there and see the schedule and the times. So don't ask us because we just have to look it up ourselves because we can't remember everything. Okay, and let's see what we got. Oh, special thing that we're doing, the people from the TS Plus chat group, um, we're holding a Thursday night mm -hmm. session, about 7.30, so you can go eat and come back, two, three hours. But we're actually gonna dive deep into what different people are doing, pluses and minuses on the different the approaches, approach. and actually play with some things, okay? So, that's that. And it'll be here. You gonna be here? That's what I thought. Next? Okay. And the, the goodies, okay? The goodies are on the website, what's being given out. But, uh, oh man, that's too much stuff. We gotta like, not show everything. I don't know how to scroll it. Okay, so what's, what's gonna happen is, this is my manager, so I use that. So these are the people right here that are that were so nice. To, let's see, third party. Okay. So these are third party guys that have uh, donated goodies, right? And you can see the numbers next to them. That's the different prize instances that we're going to have. And Stamos was so generous to. So these are the times to be here, okay? See those? That's, that's what the schedule's all about. Because, what is this, oops. What is this, Stamos? Where's Stamos? Oh, he's shy, okay, I'll tell you. This is a Microsoft Surface laptop, okay? We got five of them, so. Those are the times we're going to be giving them out. Wednesday after lunch, you know, since it's after lunch, you got to get back here. You're not here, you can't get it. Even that's if right. we call your name, if you're not here, you don't get it, okay? But that's just for this guy. So those are the five times. Put it on your calendar. Alarm it. So after lunch, after lunch, Friday, morning break, after lunch, PM break. It's always after because you got to come after. We want you to come back. That's the idea. So anyway, we, we have all these prizes from these guys. Thank you. And uh, we have different times that we're going to uh, 
um, give those out, okay? Okay, last set. You got any other items you want to talk about? Any other what? Items? Yeah. What? Um, you might have noticed that Dave Harms is not here today, and Arnold is doing the hosting. I, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dave had a family emergency right at the, like last week. And so Arnold stepped up and said, okay, I, I'll take over and do this thing. So Arnold is, has been working to, uh, oh, look at this, has this, been working to. This is the reveal. This is the reveal. Yep. So this is Clarion Live, our, our motto, or whatever you call it, right? Right. And this is weekly webinars since 2009, so everybody here gets one. The way we're going to give it up is throughout the the three days. Pick up. You guys going to hear me? Can you hear me here? Oh, no. See? So the test is talking to the mic. Okay. So um, I'll announce later, like, XXXLs come now. You know? And then, so I'll have the shirts there, and we'll, we'll just spread it out throughout the three days. Okay? So no mad rush. We'll just tell you uh, all the J's or whatever. Come come get your shirt. Okay? Then we'll, so we can check you off. Any questions? Okay, so introduce them. Okay, um, I guess I'm hosting for a moment. So uh, first up is Robert Zanier with the keynote address. And we just wanted to mention that this is Clarion Live's 10th anniversary year. So this is kind of a special CIDC. But we're coming up on Soft Velocity's 20th, I believe, next year. And so we kind of wanted to mention that um, because of Bob Zanier, we are here. We would not be here had he not stepped up and, and kind of taken Clarion, right? Because I think it would have been gone. So I just want to recognize that before we recognize Bob for the keynote. So Bob, come on up. So Bob, we appreciate you for continuing this thing. For many years to come as well. Oh, yeah. All righty. You're on. All right. You got everything look okay? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm probably not going to do any pacing. Care. Okay. Okay. Morning, everybody. Got a few things to go through and just mostly announcement type stuff. Then um, we'll have a short pause and then I'll go, then I'm going to pick up where I left off. So we are going to do something new. We're going to come out with a free edition of Clarion. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll have it ready before the end of this year. It'll be initially based in Clarion 11, and then when C12 is done, we'll update it as well. And what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to bring in a lot of new blood. And we are hoping that you guys will help us do that. By everybody, if everybody just knew one person, and you could convince them to go grab a free copy of Clarion and give it a try, um, it would be of immense help. We're also going to be introducing a, a training course on one of the e-learning platforms like Udemy or any one of them so that people who get it won't have to just read the help and read the manuals because we know no one really does that. So that is going to be coming out soon. It's not a trial version. It doesn't expire ever. It will have some limitations. It only will have Clarion DOS ASCII basic drivers. We're thinking about the SQL Lite driver instead of the Clarion driver. I haven't made a final decision on that. Anybody who wants to give me some feedback on what they think would work best would be, would be very interested in. I'd be very interested in hearing. There's no we. 
these kids. There are some limitations to it. Um, that you will not be able to add any additional drivers and you cannot register any additional templates. Other than that, it's complete Clarion. So um, it should be really good. In addition to that, we're going to introduce an affiliate program. And we're hoping that they'll piggyback on one another. So somebody who tries the community edition and decides, hey, I, I really like this, they can get a 75% discount. And if you refer them and sign up as an affiliate, you'll get 40% of the sale price. And of course, it's only going to be valid for new customer licenses. Some, I've got some animation on this that I did not plan for. <laughs> okay, we have a new product coming out, finally. Our product for cross-platform app deployment. And it'll allow you to deploy on pretty much any device out there and any operating system. So workstations, tablets, mobile devices, phones, uh, Linux, Mac, et cetera. And we call it any screen because you can deploy your app on any screen. It works similar to what H5 does. You just add a template to your app or apps and recompile and your app is ready to deploy. You don't need any training. You don't need to know JavaScript. You don't need to know CSS. And it's very scalable. So one server will support up to 175 users, approximately, because it depends, of course, on the size of your app. If you have hand-coded programs, you can web-enable them with just two lines of code. So it's really easy to implement. I should brush up on my PowerPoint. <laughs> so how is it done? It, del it delivers your app as an HTML5 app. So it can run in any device that has a browser. We're also providing with it access to the local file system with something we're calling any service. And that gets installed in the client device. That the client will have to initiate themselves, obviously because the browser sandbox, and we'll have apps for Android, iOS, and on Windows, and Mac and Linux, there'll actually be a, a program running as a service. So it's comprehensive to say, uh, it's to enable that on any screen. We'll be a lot more on that over the next two days. So the summary for any screen, you can run your app on any device. All you do is add the template and recompile or add two lines of code to hand-coded applications, programs. And it runs as fast as a desktop app, almost. You could maybe see a, a slight difference, but most people would never notice it. And <coughs> you don't need to know anything to do it. Um, <coughs> we did this with a collaboration with Marco at At Thin. So we worked on our side, and he worked on his side. And this product basically, not basically, does in fact replace at thin with 100% backward compatibility for the uh, Win API and Java based clients. But we would strongly recommend anybody who does have uh, apps deployed at thin to really take a serious look at the HTML5 implementation. It's based on React.js. So it's, it provides a really modern looking uh, app, but uniquely it 
also allows you to completely mimic your current application inside the browser. And you'll see that in action in a little bit. Clarion 12, um, the work proceeds. It is a huge amount of work. That's why it still hasn't been delivered. Those are just some of the highlights of it. Um, the Unicode support, the 64-bit integers, which I know a lot of people want for their SQL backends, and a complete rewrite of the whole report engine are just some of the highlights. And importantly, the work that we've done to get to C12 that we're almost there on is also the work that had to be done in order to, to move to 64-bit. So the current status on C12, um, we have to complete some of the M new MDI implementation. I'll be talking about that over the next two days. It's a pretty significant change. And as much as Microsoft has um, deprecated multi-threaded MDI, some time ago they did that, and we put a lot of time and effort into making it still work like it does in C11. Um, all that code is, was needed, and it now will not be needed, vast majority of it. The new report class, um, I'll be going over that over the next two days. And implementation of the new data types for selected drivers. We're not going to put them into every driver. For example, the Clarion DAT file, we won't be putting the new uh, data types into that. C11, we have a new build coming out, lots of fixes, um, some improvements in the IDE, productivity improvements, and we'll get that out towards the end of October. And we're gonna have a crowdfunding project. Um, basically, we need more money <laughs> to hire more developers so that we can get uh, to 64-bit. 64-bit is not an imperative today, but eventually it will be. And to ensure that your applications can run, quote unquote, forever, uh, we need to get there. So we're gonna start a crowdfunding project. We hope that, you know, people will, will go, yeah, I got a hundred bucks and I'll, I'll help you get some more time. Faster we get more developers, obviously, the faster we'll get it done. And that's it for the keynote. So if anybody has any questions, Arnold will have his little cube and toss it around. Anybody? Come on, Bob's here. <laughs> uh, on the crowd, oh, oh, let me say it right. On the version that you're going to release uh, for the general public, is the community that version? Yeah. Yes. When it said Clarion, does that mean TPS for the data files? No, that would be the the original Clarion for DOS Clarion, uh, like the DAT files. You remember yeah. that? It's the Clarion driver. It's that or the SQL light. I haven't decided completely. Hi, Mike Woods. I would uh, strongly recommend you get the SQL link on the community one because SQL is so pervasive throughout the industry and I think we'll be able to bring in more people if we have that connection. Yeah, I was thinking that along those lines too, and especially because SQLite is so, I mean, it has a huge following just by itself. Right. It's a good point. Next. Where? Just pop it. <laughs> Greg Brood, uh, no third party templates. No templates are added to it. That is obviously a um, strategy, so that with the, the ability to buy a new license at 75% discount, if somebody actually gets into the community edition and says, you yeah, know, I've learned how to use this thing, and now I want to 
expand on it, then okay, grab a license. That's ultimately our goal. Just well, get... I'm just thinking like for me, there's a, I've got a team of guys that are doing mobile stuff for me now that are based in Jacksonville, but work out of India. And I'm thinking to get them involved in what I'm doing, but I maybe just need to buy them licenses and well, that would be I, if, I, if I didn't have templates to provide them, that would, uh, yeah, of course. If I didn't have templates to provide them, it would sort of, I wouldn't be able to work with them collaboratively in this, uh, in this edition to get them up to speed. So that might be a little bit of a stumbling block. Yeah, me. I, I mean, I see a point, but at the same time, before they ever think about going beyond the essential clarion, data dictionary, uh, browsers, forms, et cetera, that has to happen before you start going, now here's the third, now learn this third party template. So I don't really see it as a stumbling block, Greg, because they have to start somewhere. And it's a good starting point just to learn the basic essential, like this is Clarion, this is, the, this is how you, you work. Kind of like PD from 20 years ago, right? Yeah. I think it's a great idea, when is it going to be available before the end of the year <laughs> and I would agree SQLite or TPS rather than DAT just okay. because they're more common yeah I think it's a great idea I've got a daughter that I would love to be able to do this and you know college kids they're not going to look at Clarion when you have to spend thousands out of the box yeah I agree 100% it's just not it's just not so it's a great idea so awesome great that's good feedback thank you Anybody? Oh, we've got people over here. No, Arbor, you gotta wait. Okay, I have two questions. The first being um, the 75% off affiliation program. When will that begin? Um, at the same time, before the end of the year, at the same time as we, I mean, if you have an immediate need, we could make an accommodation, but um, I, was more or less planned to be the same time as we released the community edition, so before the end of the year, but um, yeah, it could be like in November. Okay, and second question, the any screen, um, are we going to be able to see that in action this week? Absolutely, you will. Okay. Two questions. First of all, um, have you considered, especially with the new free edition, trying to have a program for universities to get the new students that are, that are learning IT, uh, to get them involved and they have a free product? Uh, maybe that's one way to start uh, a whole new generation of, of programmers. Um, we, well, as far back as, um, Top Speed and even Clarion Corp. We tried to get into universities. It is not as easy to do as you might think because they tend to follow the uh, Microsoft or Java uh, school of thought and they think that's the only way to do things. But um, in as much as it's free, Obviously, any university could adopt it, but I also think this, that the online learning platforms like Udemy and others, they have, I mean, they, they represent a much vaster proportion of programming, people learning programming, than even go to the university. If you think about the universities, yeah, there's, there's a fair amount of people who go, yeah, I'm going to go into, you know, software. But when you go on these online learning platforms, there are, there's literally, literal, millions of people who are self-teaching themselves online. So it might even be bigger than that. Now with your um, program for 75% off and 40% to, I guess, the people that refer them, yep. uh, I guess my question is, is 75% off what? Does that mean that Gee, we're going to increase the price four times? No, <laughs> no, no. It literally means 75% off the list price. Back 
the any screen, will that be an add-in that we have to buy or is it just part of the, the Clarion upgrade? That will be a separate product and we're gonna release that as a subscription model. Okay. So it, it, the H5 will continue as free as part of enterprise, but this we're, we're gonna see, people have been saying you should try a subscription. So we are releasing it as a subscription model. Uh, Gordon Hofelder. Yeah, uh, two, just two comments. Uh, I concur with uh, the sequel for the community edition. I think that that's the wise thing to do. Um, and and uh, in in the same vein, um, talking about uh, the online learning, I, I have right now two contractors that are that are just out of school doing work for us and that's exactly where they pick everything up you know you give yeah. them a project they're going to go out to the internet and try to find something that really teaches them how to use it they know the basics they're computer science uh, graduates and but you know that's where they're going to look for uh, learning something that's good feedback thanks Glenn. yeah uh, and and then the final note uh, is I, I like the subscription idea uh, i think you should look at that for everything to be honest with you I think that's a better way for the community to support you and, and your efforts and moving clearing along. And I pay subscription for all the other tools I use, so it's not something that I would be opposed to at all. Thanks. Uh, I don't want to walk, so I'll put it in. Go there. Thank you. Hey, Bob. Um, hey. As far as the any screen, what about compatibility with third party tools? Um, <clears throat> it's highly compatible, uh, with the exception being because, of course, it's running in a browser. Uh, OCX based things are a no go. Other than that, um, any tool that, that doesn't bypass, that doesn't do direct screenwriting will work. And any tool that, um, does reporting and things like that will definitely work exactly the same. Okay. Um, one other thing, just a thought on your free edition. Um, you should rather than, I, I would say rather than university, shoot for like high schools. You get them early and they don't have the money to buy a lot of this stuff. So it would be that's a, a great way to a push idea. free things to, yeah. to communities that need it. That's a really good idea. I think the free version is a good thing for trade schools, you know, because they are craftsmen and they like this part, well, this type of programming. Uh, with this free version, is this uh, uh, internet part included or is this only on the full version? Um, what, we're, what we're playing right now is not, well, not the any screen for sure because that's a separate product, but it would be, it would not include H5, for example, to do internet stuff. We could maybe rethink that. It's, a, it's, a thought, it's something to consider. I think the, the free version is great. Someone coming to your website can download the program and use it. They don't have to look at screenshots. They can see everything it's about. Uh, you do have the school example done in SQLite that works perfectly. And so that I, good point. I'd say that's a good, good way to go. It's a little more flexible also when they change their dictionary, the, the SQL driver. And, but the dictionary converts. Anyway, great idea. Just from seeing Thanks, it. Carl. No, huh? Or well, you take okay. a little break and then we'll continue on. Oh, we have one. You again? All right. So, not to ask the tough question, but uh, we all have heard about Diego. I'm just curious. Who is soft velocity today? I don't know what that really means, Greg. Um, People, who do we call, and who's who are the who are the guys doing the work? Um, the same guys who have always done the work, and Diego's still doing some work for us. Oh. There's a lot of circumstances under which Diego left being dedicated solely to working for us. But he continues to do work for us. And we have the same people who have been working on Clarion for 
20 plus years, still working on it. And of course, in today's day and age, um, outsourcing programming is more commonplace than hiring full-time employees. I think you mentioned you had some people you, do, you contract with, and that's how we do it. Anybody else? Okay. I'm going to take a break. Oh, you have a question? Okay, I'll read it. Um, we had a question about OCXs. As OCX will not be part of any screen, does this also apply to .NET tools? Well, um, it you yeah, know that's it's kind of vague to understand what .NET tools means in this context. But um, things that write directly to the screen and bypass the if they bypass Clarion screen handling then they won't work. If they don't, they will work. That's the best way I can answer it. Okay. You're free to go for a little bit. Okay. Nope. Thanks. <laughs>